what is going on guys Andrew here welcome back to another reaction video today we're gonna be checking out 10 daredevil stunts gone horribly wrong by watchmojo.com let's go ahead and jump right into the video hope y'all do enjoy it don't forget to like share, subscribe let's get it solar roof tops and power lines and i thought to myself my my god this is it you know please god you know don't let me get fried and today we're examining 10 daredevil stunts gone horribly this is a good narration wrong. voice they come for the drama and the thrill. Deadly and the past air two days, show. A string of three deadly accidents. For this wow. list, we'll be looking at the most extreme stunts that didn't go as planned, sometimes resulting in significant injury or mm. death. Oh, what wow. do you make of these kinds of stunts? Let us know in the comments below. Caleb Moore's snowmobile accident. People are wild, man. Moore was a prominent snowmobile racer who often competed Ooh. at the X Games, an Ooh. annual event dedicated to extreme and unconventional sports. I'm scared. What? He was a four-time medalist, having won three bronze Jeez. and one silver in the men's snowmobile. But on January 24th, 2013, he suffered a horrific accident when competing in the snowmobile freestyle. Moore landed awkwardly during a backflip Ooh. and was crushed by his snowmobile. It happened about 50 feet in front of me. Yeah, you he need to lay there for a while, up. but then he got up, and we all kind of thought, hey, he's okay. He's no, he needs a hospital. While he walked away from the accident, he suffered a heart contusion and soon went into cardiac arrest. Holy at which crap. Point, his brain didn't get enough oxygen. He remained unconscious and died one oh, week after the wow. accident, January 31st, Man. 25 years old. A year ago, we lost Caleb Moore, wow. and Colton Moore ended up in That's the wild that he got up. But tonight, Man. Colton Moore takes gold. Richard Guzman's fall. Wow. This professional tightrope walker was a member of the famed Flying Willendis, a group of high-wire stunt performers. They can overcome any kind of danger, even though their family has been killed doing this. They can still go up there and do that. He was actually the son-in-law wow. of the group's founder, Carl Willenda, having married his daughter Carla. The man they have Wait a minute. Wait. Question, uh, had led them into uh, this hold on. Wait a minute. Take it back now, y'all. Wait a minute. We got to take that back. I got to Wait a minute. And do that. He was actually the son-in-law of the group's founder, Carl Willenda, having married his daughter Carla. Okay. They have followed got it. Woo. Scared me for a second there. Disaster. In July 1972, Guzman was performing with the troupe when he accidentally touched a live wire. His 60-foot fall was broken by an attentive police officer, but the damage was done. The family has not been immune Man. to the tragedy inherent in the dangers of their work. Man, Several Willendas have died line. or been injured in high wire falls. He didn't have a heartbeat, and while a nurse successfully administered CPR at the scene, he passed away in the hospital Man. early the next morning. Joe Bomino's Ooh. plane jump. A strong man and professional weightlifter, Joe Bomino also served as a movie stuntman. One scene called for him and another stuntman to use just one parachute while they both jumped from a plane. However, no one wanted to participate in the outrageously dangerous endeavor, so Bomino did it with a dummy. Once he landed in a body of water, the extreme winds caught his parachute and dragged him around oh, for roughly crap. half an hour. So he decided to use the dummy as a floating life preserver. While he was hauled hmm. around at high speeds and could have drowned, Bomino's quick thinking ensured his survival. Man. Larry Walter's balloon flight. On July 2nd, 1982, Whoa, it looks like people cloud. in the U.S. watched in amazement as truck driver Larry Walters took flight over Los Angeles in a lawn chair attached to numerous weather balloons. Larry Walters had always dreamed of flying a balloon to a California. faraway place. While it makes for a spectacular sight, the stunt is extraordinarily dangerous. Hmm. Walters survived, but the journey was a rocky one. He rose to a surprising height of 16,000 feet and drifted into controlled airspace. Isn't that what uh, his altitude? He shot dude just did that early a, a couple gun, years ago. Then accidentally dropped it. Oh, 16,000 feet spotted by two astonished airline pilots on the way down. He got tangled in an active power line. Walters was fined for his stunt and given a Darwin Award. The chair he used ended up at the Smithsonian's Stephen F. Udvar-Hazy Center, alongside other historic aircraft. Wow. Why a lawn chair? What, I mean... American ingenuity. Why not a lawn chair? Yeah. I mean, it was the best... Believe me, I, I looked at baskets, and I looked at gondolas here, and uh, the lawn chair was the best suited means. Yeah. Alain Robert's repelling incident. 
Dubbed the French Spider-Man, Alain Robert has garnered fame for climbing skyscrapers without much gear. On the last 15 meters of the building, unfortunately, uh, there is some grease and there is some oil inside the groove. <laughs> then it becomes impossible uh, to oh, jam wow. uh, the right foot. Naturally, this type of exercise comes with enormous risk. Yo, this guy's Robert tripping. Robert has encountered his share of challenges I'm and good. injuries. The scariest accident came on September 29th, 1982. His Ooh. rope failed while rappling, and he fell almost 50 feet. So you fell 15 meters down, you yeah. brace yourself, you break your wrists, yeah. everything's Ooh. broken, all the bones, and you hit your head as well. I, I lost 45% of my blood. He sustained Holy numerous crap. broken bones and a dislocated elbow. He was also partially paralyzed and spent nearly one week in a coma. He wow. He recovered and went on to make some of the most remarkable climbs of his Man, career. people were Like wild, scaling yeah. the Empire State Building in 1994. As far as NYPD is concerned, that man broke his knuckles. It's a very serious matter. According to them, he puts himself in danger and other people in danger by doing things like this. So, Shalinda Nat Roy is crazy, man. Accident. This Indian stuntman held a peculiar world record. He had traveled the furthest distance on a zip line using okay. nothing but his own hair. While donning what? a ponytail, Roy traveled about 270 feet back in 2011. What but in April of 2013, he attempted to break his own record by ziplining over that baby West Bengal's Tista River. While performing the very risky stunt, his hair got caught and yeah. he remained dangling above the river for about 45 minutes. Oh Roy my had a major gosh. heart attack during this time and passed away on the spot. What? Cautions backflip. A stuntman from Russia, Pavel Kashin took an interest in parkour. Hey, parkour is kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. Some are, some just about jumping around, I don't know. Television, parkour is often performed on the street without safety equipment. Kashin hailed from St. Petersburg, nice. and in July 2013, it's pretty fun, he was I'm not reportedly gonna lie. performing a stunt on top of a 16-floor apartment complex. He tried to do a backflip on the building's oh, ledge, no. but lost his balance. He didn't survive the ensuing fall. Oh, wow. Kashin's friend managed to snap a photo of the final backflip, which was then shared on the internet with the permission of his parents. Oh, man. Evil Knievel's Caesar's Palace stunt. Perhaps the most famous stuntman of his generation, Evil Knievel attained worldwide fame through his exhilarating motorcycle jumps. It's amazing what people will do, man. On New Year's Eve, 1967, Knievel attempted the fact that, his that was in color back then. Yet, a 141-foot jump over the iconic fountains at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. What Yo. struck me most about the oddity of, of that day was seeing this unbelievable crowd. No one had much faith in the event. <laughs> ABC wouldn't broadcast it live, and Knievel oh, had to fund the filming himself. What? During the stunt, the bike's speed suddenly diminished. Oh my goodness. He made that jump. It just seemed like eternity. He was in the air. I mean, enough power, air ball. crashed <laughs> badly. He sustained many Whew. debilitating injuries, including a concussion, multiple fractures, and a crush. He's ads, yo. Jane Wicker's crash. In June of 2013, Ohio's Dayton International Airport was hosting the Vectran Air Show, which obviously mm. contained lots of airborne stunts. Well, I actually did that hang down my second time in the air wing walking. So I spent a month on the ground training, and I went up, and my first wing walk was, a, was my first air show. As part of the event, stuntswoman and wing walker Jane Wicker was performing alongside her pilot, Charlie Schwenker. Wing walking is a dangerous stunt in which people Man. essentially move on a flying airplane. No, I think it's more of an what? adrenaline than a nerve for me at, at this point. I have I get concerned when certain things are thrown at me that I'm not, you know, ready for. Wicker was sitting on the wing of Schwenker's aircraft when oh something went terribly my gosh. wrong and the plane plummeted to the ground. What? It immediately erupted in a fiery explosion. And both oh Wicker and Schwenker died instantly. Sean Cunningham's accidental ejection. 
A pilot for Britain's Royal Air Force, Sean Cunningham was also a member of the Red Arrows, who perform hmm. intense aerial stunts. He was preparing to take off for a formation flight with his colleagues from the Whoa. Red Arrows, famous the world over for their spectacular stunts. Hey, they In November are moving. 2011, Cunningham was performing checks before a flight inside his aircraft when the oh, ejection no. seat suddenly deployed. What? He was shot over 200 feet from his plane into the air. Being ejected Yo. shouldn't have proved fatal, but the parachute on his seat didn't open. Unfortunately, the primary safety Yo. parachute then malfunctioned, and Cunningham fell to the ground as a result. He was rushed to a nearby hospital. That's but crazy. Was soon pronounced dead. The company that manufactured the seat was oh, ordered yeah. to pay just over you're, one you're million fired. pounds for the incident. We have Bro. made and will continue to make every effort to make sure that such a tragic accident That's never insane. Again. Man, that first one and I feel like the last one were pretty much one of the wildest ones. I mean, ooh, that's insane. Like, think about like you're just okay. I'm going to fly real quick. We're doing a quick test. Poof. You ejected out the seat. Like, I don't know what I would have done. Let me know what y'all thought of this in the comment section below. If you want me to react to more videos on their channel, I definitely would if you want me to. I think they have a lot of content that is worth watching. But I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And until next time, peace out.